Hey 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 you funky funky people and we are in the nether today. Um this is basically a small video to show off this little thing I have made. Now everyone well not everyone maybe but a lot of people have seen Ethos Lab um Ethos Labs well actually his name's Ether, but Ethos Lab Okay, Ethos Blaze Spawner Trap, okay. Um and it's particularly hard to make because you can't use water in the nether. And I'm getting a lag spike. But um, I saw Ethos and I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty decent. It's good, it's good. Um, but I think it it could be made simpler. So what I have done is I have made it very simple. And if I can get in here and just replace this with glass quickly. Then we'll put creative mode off. And we'll go on to peaceful. I mean, easy. Now, there is only two buttons to press here. They get pushed down in the same style as Ethos, where they fall down onto piston uh, pressure plates, which are wired up to resistors. Resistors? I've forgotten what they're called. Repeaters. And then they push pistons. So you just lock the blazers in there. This is probably going to be a bit loud. And then all you do is you kill them. Now, Ethos is on a timer. You can quite easily hook a timer up. Although, I don't know, I prefer just to be able to do it like this because it gives you more options. Like, if you want to just kind of half damage them and test out the damage on a sword or something like that, I don't know. But I just prefer it like this. It's also easier and cheaper on uh, making repeaters because they are quite expensive to make. So, you press this for 19 things 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Take it off, straight off, and boom, boom. They are really good XP, so unlock. Oh. Well, uh. Because we know that he's not going to give us XP. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I thought I miscounted that. I think I did miscount. I think I was one ahead. And when this happens, and you can't get your loot, you press the kill button. And you've got it. Pretty smooth. So, um, it's really good XP and everything. And I think you should all try and make one. Because I'm thinking about making a tutorial if I get good enough response. Um, I'll show you the inside of it. Yeah, they do start to die in this design, though, in here, if they start to get clumped up. But that's not too much of a problem. Um, because normally, if they're all up here, you've got a lot in there, then. <laughs> so, they all spawn now. I wanted the biggest room possible in here. And, um, minus these columns here, it is. So, they have the biggest spawning possibilities. So, I can get lots of spawns of free. <coughs> so, there's a good start. So, you go down, and... They will either be in the middle somewhere here, or in here, if they land here, it pushes them in. Now, the chances of them landing in this block, because um, they move around quite a lot, and not land up on the piston, see, like that, it's very low. So, they get pushed in again, and then they either land in here and go straight down, or they'll land on here and get pushed in. Then from here, why is that block there? Ah, that's why. I broke the lock thing. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, from here, all you do is you lock them in so that when you're killing them, um, suffocating them, they don't jump up and disappear. So, well, not disappear, just go back up and be like, screw you. And that's basically how to make it. So it's it's really not that hard. And the hardest thing to remember is that this is 19. Like, I think... Um, oh. Um, sign, sign. Where are you? There. Here. 19. Suffocate. No. Oh, can't spell. 19. Suffocate. Noises. There we go. Okay, you can tell I haven't been at school for quite a while because of Christmas. <laughs> okay, um. 
Well, that is all for this episode, and it's very simple to make, so if you want me to make a tutorial, I can pretty much make one in very quick. This took me about two hours to design. I used Ethos quite a lot as a base of it, but Ethos, he's got redstone all over the place around his. It's so complex. This, it's not as efficient in the way that sometimes they die while being held above the lock system, but that's not too much of a problem, I'd say. I mean, for the easiness of this, pretty much the average Minecraft noob could build this, so... um. Yeah, tell me if you want a tutorial. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Go wild. Hello, I'm back. What the hell is going on? You do not know. But if you manage to watch this far in the video and not get bored of me talking about crap about blazers, well, um, congratulations for a start. You also managed to uh, see that there was something past the outro. So um, this is just a little thing I said that the next episode of my Let's Play is going to be pretty decent. It's going to be about brewing. I am now gathering loads of supplies and I'm going to be building an Ethos style brewing room. Um, brewing room? Yeah, I guess you'd call that. Basically the dispensers and stuff like that. But I'm going to simplify it again because I like to simplify stuff. I like things easy. I do not like levers and buttons all over the place if you have not guessed. Um, also, I need to fix this farm because when I press this, I figured out why some of them go on there. It's because if I did it at the same time, they would bounce off instead of going on there. Um, so, also, 100 subs special coming up soon. Um, let me know what you guys want and... That'd be helpful. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a competition. The winner will be getting some extreme uber awesome shout out. Um, and it's probably going to be default and intro. And the rules on that, I'm not too sure yet, but it'll be something along the lines of it has to be 100% from scratch, no templates. And if possible, um, if well, if I need to, then I might need to ask you for evidence if someone accuses you or something like that, okay? Um, so, I will see you guys soon. Good day, my good... Just bye. Just bye. <laughs>